Alright, this is CPU Kid, and in this video I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 2.0.2 on iPod Touch. This process is pretty much the same for iPhone and iPhone 3G, so I'm going to be using a program called WinPwn 2.5. Obviously I'm on Windows, but if you're on OS 10, you can use QuickPwn. Obviously you can use that on Windows as well. But I'm going to be using WinPwn, so go ahead and open this up. And before you start any kind of pwning process, you'll want to um, go into task manager and you'll want to end anything with Apple or iPod or whatever in the name so you see Apple mobile device and process see if there's anything else iPod service and process I believe that's it okay so now that we're done with that uh, like I said I'm gonna be um, pwning an iPod touch but before you pwn the iPod touch or whatever it has to be plugged in your computer so go ahead and do that and as you can see my computer found it I'm not sure if you can hear that or not but you probably can Okay, so now, obviously I'm doing iPod Touch, but obviously if you're doing iPhone or iPhone 3G, click those. I'm going to be doing 2.0.2, .2, but you can also do these. So do you want to install YouTube activation? Yes. Do you want to use custom boot restore logos? Yes. So here, if you made one in Photoshop you want to use, then you can just browse it. But then, I'm going to use ones from the internet, so then you just click here and it's going to take a second for all the images to load so I'm just going to hold on a second about halfway done ten more okay so my friend likes Family Guy so I'm going to try to find the one with like the Family Guy monkey on it there it is and it's going to download it there it is and the restore logo I'll just use this one okay so once you're done, cho done choosing the ones that you want go ahead and click next and now it's gonna search for it which is right here and it's gonna say hashing iPod whatever firmware and this is just gonna take a few seconds it shouldn't take very long and here we are building the custom IPSW file this is probably gonna take about five minutes so it also takes up a lot of um, computer usage so if your computer starts getting really noisy then don't mind it but yeah I'll be back in about five minutes or so when this is done okay once it's done building the IPSW it'll ask you a series of questions and the first one is do you want to view the instructions on how to enter DFU mode I'm gonna click no because I know how to do it but I'm gonna show you guys how to you're gonna wanna hold the power button and the home button at the same time for 10 seconds so I'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now let off the power, but keep on holding the home button until your computer finds it. This will only take probably ten seconds, five, ten seconds. Okay, so now we are in DFU mode. Your drivers, if it's your first time doing it so I'm gonna click no because I just showed you how and is your iPod touch turned off yes congratulations you have successfully entered DFU mode please use iTunes to restore your iPhone iPod with a custom IPSW now you may let go of the home button okay so now we can exit WinPone and now we're going to open up iTunes. Okay, and then iTunes is detected in iPod in recovery mode, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now to do this, you're going to hold down shift while you click restore. After you click it, keep shift hold down, or held down rather, until you see like a little box come up. 
and go to my documents is usually where um, Winpwn saves the IPSW CPU kit documents custom iPod so it's just in documents and then it'll say extracting software okay so now you'll get this message once it's done and the iPod or iPhone will just boot up as normal okay and now you are on the firmware either 2.0, 2.01 or 2.02 .02, and you have Cydia and installer and now you may go ahead and install applications and do whatever custom themes it gets to be a pretty fun time so I guess that's it for this video thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video